wind. When hot air rises and creates a region of low pressure, cold air from neighboring high pressure areas moves towards low pressure areas. This horizontal movement of air is called wind. The speed of wind depends on the pressure differences between two regions. When the difference is high, the wind rushes from the high pressure region to low pressure region at a great speed as in a storm. Winds can be broadly classified as permanent winds and local winds. Permanent winds These are the winds which blow throughout the year in a particular direction and over a particular region. They are also called prevailing winds or planetary winds. They are of following types. Trade winds They tend to blow from high pressure to low pressure but they are deflected to the right in northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. So, the trade winds blow from subtropical high pressure belts towards equatorial low pressure belts. In the northern hemisphere, their direction is northeast and in the southern hemisphere, their direction is southeast. East being the common direction, they are also known as easterlies. In olden days, they were helpful for traders, that is why they are called trade winds. Anti-trade winds They tend to blow in the opposite direction of trade winds. They blow from subtropical high pressure belt towards the subtropical low pressure belt. Their direction is southwest in the southern hemisphere and northwest in northern hemisphere. West being the common direction, they are also called westerlies. Polar winds They blow from the poles towards the subpolar low pressure belt. Their direction is the same as that of trade winds. That is why they are also known as polar easterlies. Local winds Winds that arise due to local or regional changes in temperature and pressure are known as local winds. They affect small areas over shorter period of time. Some local winds like monsoons, land and sea breezes are periodic. They are also called seasonal winds. Monsoon winds, seasonal winds. The word monsoon is derived from Arabic word mosem, meaning season. They blow from sea towards landmass in one season and then from land towards sea in the other season of the year. The complete reversal of these winds is their characteristic feature. During summers, the landmass heats up rapidly and an intense low pressure area develops over Central Asia which attracts the winds from high pressure area. As a result, the southeast trade winds cross the equator and bring heavy rainfall to large parts of Asia. These are known as summer monsoons or a draining monsoon. During winter season, the land mass becomes cooler and the pressure over Central Asia becomes high. From this high pressure area, the wind blows towards equatorial low pressure area in northeast direction. These are known as winter monsoons or retreating monsoon. Periodic winds. Water takes longer than land to get heated and cool down. During the day, the land becomes hotter than the sea. The air above the land becomes hot and rises leading to low pressure over the land. Since the air above the sea is cooler, the pressure above the sea is higher. So, the cooler air from the sea moves towards land during daytime. This is called sea breeze which brings down the temperature in coastal areas during the day. At night, the land cools down much faster than the sea. The air above the sea is warmer and lighter. 
the warm air above the sea rises so the pressure above the sea is lower than the pressure above land therefore air from land blows out towards sea this is known as land breeze other local winds some winds with special characteristics blow over limited areas and have local significance they have different names in different parts of the world lu it is a hot and dry wind which blows over the plains of north india during summers chinook it is a warm and dry wind which blows over the eastern side of the rocky mountains in north america it is also known as snow eater fane similar to chinook it blows down the southern flanks of alps during winters it helps in ripening of grapes in southern europe cyclonic winds these are irregular winds of shorter duration they are caused by pressure systems called cyclones and anti cyclones a cyclone is an intense vortex or a whirl in the atmosphere with wind circulating around it in anti clockwise direction in northern hemisphere and clockwise direction in southern hemisphere the center of a cyclone is a low pressure area with steep barometric gradient in a cyclone the wind blows at a speed of 150 to 250 km per hour indian subcontinent is often hit by cyclones the cyclones hit the arabian sea coast as well as the bay of bengal the states of west bengal odisha andhra pradesh and tamil nadu along the bay of bengal and gujarat and maharashtra on the arabian sea coast are most vulnerable to cyclones clouds clouds are the minute droplets of water or small crystals of ice condensed over the dust particles far above the earth's surface all over the sky clouds are the source of rainfall on the earth depending on their shape size and altitude the clouds have been classified into various types major types of clouds are cirrus cumulus and stratus cirrus these are feathery and fibrous clouds found at high altitude they are thin and white or transparent in appearance they show brilliant colors at sunrise and sunset and correspond to dry weather cumulus these clouds have a flat base and appear as rising domes resembling a cauliflower they are associated with fair weather stratus these are a low lying gray and thick clouds found in the form of layers they are generally representative of fair and clearing weather and occasional rain or snow sharing the characteristics of these three basic types of clouds are various other types of clouds which are classified into about 31 forms the term nimbus if added to any cloud form represents the rain bearing clouds classification of clouds classification of clouds on the basis of their height above the ground surface is as below high clouds 6 to 20 km cirrus cirro cumulus cirro stratus middle clouds 2.5 to 6 km alto stratus alto cumulus nimbo stratus low clouds ground surface to 2.5 km stratocumulus stratus cumulus cumulonimbus